My name is Brian Check, and I spent 18 years with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. I signed on in 1999 as the first conservation biologist for the National Wildlife Refuge System, and my position description was big picture, long term, and very interdisciplinary. And that reflected agency leadership of the time. It also fit my career path perfectly. I'd started out as a wildlife biologist and gone into administration. And then in my PhD program, I had taken on this big picture long-term issue, namely the relationship between economic growth and wildlife conservation. And when I first got to headquarters, I was encouraged to develop an approach for raising public awareness of the trade-off between economic growth and wildlife conservation. Unfortunately, for the taxpayer and the truth, we had a major shakeup at Refuge System headquarters early in my career, and that big picture long-term approach was replaced by parochial concerns and a very cliquish sort of culture that devolved into a, a good old boys club, a travel club, a boys and girls travel club really, for the Refuge System chiefs to travel out to their favorite refuges and explore new refuges and typically combine these trips with hunting and fishing and family visits and at the end of the day tabulate that per diem bonus. They didn't want to be distracted with the big picture, long term, intellectually difficult and politically thorny issues, national issues affecting wildlife conservation. So economic growth was pushed off into the corner. We literally started calling it the 800 pound gorilla and I got pushed into the corner with it. And my career became one of gag orders, abuse of authority, and my networks were completely severed. Now I have a book on this, Gag Order No More, and that'll be coming out in 2019. Meanwhile, if you find yourself suffering abuse of authority in your agency, be sure to contact PEER. PEER, they're very savvy and they're very helpful. If you would like to help with raising awareness of the conflict between economic growth and environmental protection, and I hope you would like to as an environmental professional, then please contact CASI, the Center for the Advancement of the Steady State Economy. When I quit Fish and Wildlife last year, I became the Executive Director of CASI, and I'd love to talk with you about what we can do together, and we can maintain your confidentiality if you prefer. Finally, I'd like to give a shout out to the workforce, the general workforce of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, because the vast majority are smart, passionate, productive civil servants. But it's that general workforce and Cassie and Peer and others that needs to hold to account these refuge system chiefs that treat the refuge system like their oyster. That shouldn't be happening anymore. They should be dealing with the big picture, long term, challenges at the national level to wildlife conservation, like economic growth. Thank you.